Hi, Kirsten here. So today is day four of our mini stress detox. So I hope that you've been using the tools from the, the previous blog posts. Um, if not, then I suggest going back to them and, and listening to them again so that you actually uh, integrate the tools that you actually practice them. So today I'd like to talk about how uh, the fact that our mind can be a bit sticky, it can have a tendency to dwell on things, how this can affect or will affect whether we produce feel-good hormones or stress hormones. Um, so you know how when we imagine something positive, for instance, we're looking forward to a holiday, so we feel really good inside, we're producing feel-good hormones because we are imagining it. Or we might be thinking about something that um, we're worried about and that will create um, stress hormones. So you've probably heard someone say, or maybe you have at some point said, um, I had a really bad day. But actually, if someone says that and you turned around to them and you said, you questioned it and said, is that really true? Or did you have a bad five minutes? And you've just been replaying the movie in your mind of what happened during those five minutes, that thing you said or that thing that happened or what someone else said or what you heard on the news. Maybe you've just been replaying the movie. So my tip is to monitor your mind and notice whether you are dwelling on something from the past um, that is activating or creating stress hormones in you when actually that thing is not happening anymore. If so, of course, use your deep breathing, come back to the present moment, see with your eyes, hear with your ears, rather than repeating an old movie of, of something that happened before. Um, so I'd like to finish this with a uh, Zen Buddhist fable. It's about two monks who were out for a walk and they came to a stream. They needed to cross the stream to, to wade across it. And these two monks had taken advanced vows, which meant they weren't allowed to touch women. But when they got to the stream, a young woman asked the older monk whether he could carry her across the stream. So the older monk took her up on his back, carried her across, got to the other side, put her down without any small talk, and walked on. After a while, the younger monk blurted out, are we not monks? How could you do that? How could you touch that woman? How could you carry her? And the older monk looked at him calmly and said, I put her down a long time ago. Why are you still carrying her? Good, so I'll be back tomorrow with uh, some more tips for how you can reduce uh, stress and create more feel-good hormones. Okay, take care.